probably have cabinets and drawers full of expensive tools. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a cheap but very effective tool to check the orientation of the sensor encoder in a wheel bearing. ABS and other vehicle systems rely on information from sensors in the wheel bearings. In some bearings, that information comes from a magnetic sensor referred to as an encoder embedded in the seal. Inside the bearing, there is a toothed metal ring. As the wheel turns and the ring rotates near the seal, the sensor transmits that data to the vehicle, which uses it to calculate vehicle speed. Some Generation 1 bearings use this technology. It's a two-row, pre-greased and sealed bearing assembly with the sensor in the seal. If you install the bearing backwards with the seal encoder away from the sensor, the sensor will not be able to measure wheel speed. Once it's installed incorrectly, you can't just take the bearing out and reverse the orientation. When you remove it, you'll destroy the seals, and that means you have to buy a new bearing, and you will have an unhappy customer when his or her bearing doesn't work. So how do you make sure you orient the bearing correctly? If you have a magnetic encoder detector, place it against the side of the bearing. The magnets in the encoder will create a pattern in the detector. If you don't have a detector, you can use any piece of lightweight magnetic metal, like a paperclip. Put the paperclip against the end of the bearing. If it sticks, you found the seal with the encoder. You can double check by putting the paperclip on the other end to make sure it doesn't stick. When installing the bearing, press it in so that the seal encoder is next to the ABS sensor. So if you work with censored wheel bearings and want to avoid inserting them incorrectly, you may want to add a paperclip to your toolbox. I'm Rick Dahman, and this has been a Timken Tricks of the Trade video helping you build your service knowledge. Visit us at timken.com aftermarket for more information. And thanks for watching.